Okay, I just stumbled upon this, and you might find it interesting. I do. I just started reading it, and I thought, well, you know, I should make a clip of it. Now, this is from a Yahoo France page that is just there when you open your Yahoo page to do what you want to do. And there are some news stories, some of which are just obviously PR, and some which might be of some interest about storm warnings or I don't know. But anyway, uh, this source is Slate.fr, and it was made public uh, 23 hours ago, it says. Uh, it says, when the FBI sent a letter to Martin Luther King to ask for him to kill himself, okay? Now, I'm going to move this a little bit to the side because I really don't want to be hassled about rights or showing the full screen or anything like that. But I am attributing the source. Uh, it says, a document recently un dug up by a historian from Yale shows that the FBI tried nearly 50 years ago to convince the pastor to kill himself. There's only one thing to do, and you know what it is. That explicit phrase contained in a letter sent to Martin Luther King had only one objective in reality, to discredit the Nobel Peace Prize and push him to kill himself. Beverly... I think it's Beverly. I think they may have misspelled it. It says Beverly Gage. Historian at Yale who found the letter and who published it online on a New York Times website. On the New York Times website. Uh, it, while looking for a biography of Hoover, I was surprised to find a complete version, uncensored, of this letter in his official documents, which were confidential and which were in the National Archives, she explained. The site Vox, V-O-X, uh, reminds us on its, on its part that some days after the discussion uh, or the presentation of the famous I Have a Dream speech in 1963, uh, an FBI memo explained in very bold terms how it had become absolutely imperative to watch, to spy upon this militant. Let's see, this is a quote. We must consider henceforth if by the past, although in the past we may not have done so, how the Negro, the most dangerous in the world, is in this nation. Okay, dangerous Negro, or neg, uh, okay. The, the French words for blacks and stuff uh, sound very insulting in English, but different culture, I, I don't want to get into that. Neg. You don't really want to say that over here, though. Really. Uh, it's not the best choice of words. Actually, they say black now a lot here in, in French. In a, a climate of fear of communism, a system of spying was quickly put in place because J. Edgar Hoover, boss of the FBI at the time, was determined to prove the links between communism and certain members of the entourage of Martin Luther King who were in place in the United States. But, a la place, I guess, 
I don't know what that means. The Bureau recuperated, got numerous videos of sexual liaisons of the pastor. The management of the FBI started to give information about these relations to certain friends who were members of the press. Yet, to their great astonishment, <laughs> the story wasn't really released anywhere, explains the historian. Hey, <laughs> all right, journalists, yeah. They were like, oh, well, you know, so what? It's bashing, you know, bashing the guy, smearing him. So, the next year, one of the directors of the FBI sent an anonymous letter to the home of Martin Luther King. One threatened him that they were going to reveal to the world about his private life to ruin his reputation and his credibility. You've been recorded. All of your adulteries, your sexual org orgies. Let me expand this page and read the rest of this. Come on, come on. Okay, there we go. Oh. Let's see. Oh no, I've lost it. Okay, let me go back. Come on, Slate. Let me expand this. You know, you get these ads thrown in there. Well, anyway, okay, this might be it now, okay? Maybe I don't have the ad all over the screen. Scroll down. Sorry. You have been, okay, you've been recorded, all of your adulteries, your sexual orgy, orgies um, going back into the past, said the letter, before affirming that the public would know what you are, an abnormal beast and satanic. Your diplomas, your Nobel Prize, what a joke, and other benefits and mentions you will never see them King I repeat you are finished according to David Garrow uh, the biographer of the Nobel Prize the letter could have even gone to his house accompanied with a package full of cassettes of his liaison that his wife had opened, thinking of finding some tapes of his speeches. If this story of his liaisons uh, didn't take in the media at the time, it would be hard to imagine today that a newspaper or whatever would refuse to <laughs> distribute and publish them at uh, on 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 one hand the current director of the, of the FBI James Comey does have a copy of these cassettes apparently to remind himself that uh, he he mustn't do things like that all right, so, you know, I've heard all kinds of bad stuff about what the U.S. was planning to do to Martin Luther King. And I really can't verify all of it. And, you know, mainstream media, it is mainstream media. You have to look into it more and check things out. I don't give the New York Times any credibility anymore, you know. But I do look at these things from time to time. They are interesting. When people tell me things, especially 
spontaneously and they seem sincere. I do listen. I do make a note of them. I've heard some pretty amazing things over the decades. Uh, and, uh, you know, that's pretty rotten, but really, what do you expect, you know? Wherever people are involved, you'll get the worst of the worst, you know? So, I think that's about it. I think that's all I had to say. So I hope you're okay. I'm I'm really not, but you know, whatever. Okay, bye.